Johnny's Bar and Grill, Mexican and American cuisine with daily and weekly specials, juicy burgers, mouth-watering tacos, and more, 1519 West Highway 150 in Lincolnton. Welcome back into the WHKY News. This is Community Focus. With an update on a proposed new high school in Iredell County, here's Rob Eastwood. Iredell Statesville Schools is closer to beginning construction of the new Weathers Creek High School in Troutman. The Board of Education approved the plan to reduce the cost to meet the $130 million budget that was set by the Board of Commissioners. According to a published report, in the Iredell Free News, the revised scope of the project includes the construction of the school side of the creek, rough grading for the athletic field side, the contingency fee, the furnitures, fixtures and equipment package, testing and special inspections and design fees. The school, which will be located at 246 Over Cash Road in Troutman, is slated to have a capacity of 1,600 students while cost estimates for the project have been as high as $190 million, county commissioners have drawn a hard line at $130 million. Voters approved $80 million for the new school in 2020. Commissioners agreed to borrow another $40 million and will use $10 million from the county's fund balance. The next step is for the county to secure the financing for the project, which according to the published report, will happen early next year. The district is hoping to break ground on the new Weathers Creek High School in March of 2025. More on this in this story at our website, whky.com. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob. WHK staffers will be on hand at a trunk or treat event this weekend. Ariana Mack and her guest have the details. The 8th Annual Hickory Area Trunk or Treat presented by Sig Holcomb State Farm and Silas Ducks will be held at Hickory Motor Speedway on Saturday, October 26th from 3 to 6 p.m. I spoke with Michelle York, event coordinator and sponsors. Every year, and this is our 8th year annually, we do a Halloween Trunk or Treat for the community and for the kids in the community. And every year we choose a charity that we try to use and sponsor to raise money for. This year we're using Silas Ducks. They are a charity that will come alongside families who have children that are battling pediatric cancer and help them to get the children the much needed treatment that they need so that they can battle this cancer and win. Other than kids and families coming to get candy, how can they support Silas Ducks while they're here? While you're here, we're going to have Lake Hickory Haunts is coming out and several vendors like Doug's Auto Glass, they're one of our premier sponsors. Street and Trail Performance is going to be here with Mitch. We've also got O'Charlie's, which is a main player and sponsored nationally for Silas Ducks. And we've got several other um, um, sponsors. We have MDI, which sponsored a great deal of candy for us locally. And we've also got the Western North Carolina Jeepers Association um, that have not only been helping in the mountains, but also are a major player and sponsor for Silas Ducks as well that will come out. Um, you can participate by buying food in the food trucks, which are giving back to Silas Ducks. Purchase tickets from Lake Hickory Haunts for their haunt for the Halloween and we're also going to raffle off tickets that you can win for Lake Hickory Haunts and we've also got several other raffles, t-shirt sales and other items as well that will go 100% to the charity. Very big event. Last year they had a number of kids. Uh, it's a safe environment so we just want to be here again this year. Our trunk or treat theme this year is going to be Beauty and the Beast come by. The Doug is going to be the Beast. I will be Mrs. Potts and we'll have Belle and Chip there as well. It is free admission with food trucks, bouncy houses, free candy, pony rides, and so much more. WHKY will be in attendance, excited to pass out candy. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana, and thanks to Michelle York for her time today. Thank you all for your continued support of Community Focus. On behalf of Ariana Mack, Rob Eastwood, Jason Savage, and Michelle York, I'm Ralph Mangum. This has been the WHKY News.